like a nest, like a like likely go to. Whoa! I didn't recognize that fellow at first. And does get caught, but now he's going to see, see him. Position. They see oh, him. Wait, maybe not. No auto attack. Here we go. Very nice. Anthony blinks in. Will he get out of range? They've got a second century. Well, they'll dust as well. First part. Oh, very nice. Don't think Good job. He could steal a creep, but he's going to go for the Chen kill instead. It seems. Dendi blinks in. They're looking for the kill. Boogie's got no escape here. Maybe he gets the deny. Go for the deny, man. No. Well, Navi off to a fantastic start. I'm not a hero that can get involved. Is there any real big play they can make to kind of turn this game around? They need to activate the Lino, I think. Because um, here's here's the problem with what's happened. Let's actually wait a second. Let's see if something does happen here. So Nico is going to open on Malix. This is Zeus Old as well. Easy kill. And, or maybe not. Yeah, okay. They get it with the cask here. Bouncing around a little bit, but will not be able to get a playoff here. Trixie. So Nico's actually going in with the Janata. Wow. Well, we didn't get the Janata strike. They that's, need to run. That's, that's just flat out greedy. Opening like that. Is he gonna, okay, <laughs> the creep gets the kill. I'm very surprised they tried for that one. Okay, so this this lineup that 4AC has drafted is it's very snowball. If you oh Matomba's gonna die too. Dendi so yeah. low. I it's caught gone. most of that one. Like in a moment, and there's just Lena needs to do so much that she can't do until she has to go. Oh, my God. Goodbye. Yeah, and when your lean is on the sidelines, it's the one hero that can make plays happen, and we're just not seeing it. Meanwhile, Chronosphere, Trixie caught up in the enemy jungle. A Vols with a Mask of Madness and Gloves of Haste, easy pickup for him. Hasn't gone for a greedy build here. Evolve. And Trixie, who's trying to farm a lane now, is probably going to get picked off again, since they have... They don't have any idea where the dire heroes are right now. There's a swap from Vance. They're taking a lot of damage from the Firefly, actually. This could backfire Matumba, could get a dub. Oh, very close. A boss, no Chronosphere, should be okay. He can maybe turn and fight if he even wants to with no Mana Void, but... Sneaker only now, if he had level 6 at the start of that, it would have been a lot easier, but... Didn't have the track for the movement speed. But still, overall looking good. Bottom lane, Boogie now, maybe into the next go down. There's a Zeus ulti, Dendi, forced back, didn't want to fight into the two supports. Thought he had maybe just a free solo pick off there. Boogie hasn't earned, so he will be able to come back. It's actually a Yules and Lina. I see no other real way for them to start finding the core kills they need. Apart from Blink Bat, but, well, that's also a thousand gold away, minute 13. It's gonna be very late. Sonic Wave Scream, Dendi wants in onto Valix here. He's TP towards the Lina, but Lina wasn't really ready. Hits the stun now. Dendi gonna sidestep, but Laguna Blade will still get the kill. Nymphy gets one in return. Gets him that's close. Yours, I think. Yeah, very close. Just needs the Void Stone now. Void is ahead by more than 50% this time around. Dendi could be in trouble at bottom lane, by the way. Nemphi just picked up the Yules. He's going in off of the smoke. I like the play. Get the Yules and immediately smoke up with Witch Doctor. No TP support available, and Nemphi will hit the combo. Think on your Batrider, he's smoked up. He's going to walk into Soneko, though, unfortunately. Oh, in goes your Bat. The track comes out, and Vengskog going to get clipped here, but Havolf already has the Aegis on his side. The car's bouncing around still. Havolf, time walks to the high ground. Going to hold on to the Aegis. Blink up from Matumba, man. Not going to find any kills off of this, and Dendi about to respawn. This is not an easy fight to take. They bring down the Aegis. Oh, has he got a Chronosphere? You betcha! Doesn't get a chance to use it. The stun Laguna's waiting for him. No backtrack for you. Zeus doing some big damage there. The all heal will negate some of it, and four anchors going to dust up Sonico. They may be able to bring him down. The Queen of Pain, Sonic Wave Scream doing good work, but still, four anchors, they survive. They're outlasting, and they get the final kill on a Bounty Hunter. He might not find Dendi in the first place because Suniko informs his team that it's happening, so... I actually like this choice, but... It can also backfire. Trixie. Speaking of bad, because he... This aggressive one they had him the, on the top cliff, or sorry, the cliff to the left, still has 45 seconds remaining on it. If he walks through that, Venge gets in a good position with the gem, they find a kill on Lina, which in turn steals for his C's gem. And then they would be without a gem. Bottom lane, Matumba man caught out, he's silenced up, doesn't have the Manta style yet, will go down. I think Havos missed the Chronosphere. I, I, I came down bottom. Chronosphere is enough. Small little claim here. Havos. Time looks forward. He's going to catch out the Chen here and may just look to uh, yeah, throw a Chronosphere. Solo kill on the boogie. Actually has some creeps there as well. That's a little bit of free extra gold going the way of Navi. Kind of shows how Navi had, but they have no gem. Sneeko just scouts out everything. They've got dust, but Trixie blinks forward. What are you thinking, Sneeko? He's thinking he's got Havos sitting right behind him. Havos comes in with a BKB, goes in on Trixie. The Mjolnir damage, Trixie will be brought down. No, yep, just in time. Chen, no send back was being used there on the sidelines. Dandy tries to bring down the Witch Doctor, won't be successful. Boogie. 
casualty and said, Navi, bring enough heroes top to turn that one around and a track kill or two going their way as well. If that was the plan, Tumper Man gets blocked by Dendi. They're actually going to go on him here. This is going to be a very easy kill on the AM and probably the biggest kill they can find to it. Oh, he bought his BKB as well. No buyback. Here you go, Navi. Think about pushing high ground here. Banks growing her Voss on the front lines and... Even if Vlad's pick up for Vanks, we're giving them more damage here. Voss taking heavy damage, but he, oh, he survives on 50 HP. Vanks are going to be the casualty instead. The cast, the death ward, they're doing huge work on Navi. Oh my god, they just got baited into that one. Who needs anti-mage? Wow, that was an incredible cask right there. And Voss lucky to get out alive here as Nemphi yeah. just really drops a lot of damage. They tank, but they don't really do a whole lot. Oh, might find an opening on Van score. E blade Reuse from Trixie, uh oh. Oh dear. Navar's gonna go in for the solo kill, the send back Trixie. Oh, that Zeus Salty secures that. Super effective. <laughs> cooldown on Laguna Blade, so if they can deal with this creep wave and this push here, they will have it for the next creep wave that can come. They go in, they want Havos here, they're actually gonna go on him, he's got no ages! Havos is dead, great play, and now in goes Matumba Man. He's got the BKB, wants to go on Phobos, but Phobos with Aegis, not the best target here. Mana Boy gets used possibly unnecessarily, but. Still, damage being done onto the Na'Vi side here. It's going to be a buyback from a boss. There's your Zeus ultimate number one. Boogie on the run here. Second Zeus ulti comes through, takes out the lane. But Tumba Man no longer has a BKB. One Dendi, whose BKB won't be able to get him. On the front lines is your bounty. Who's going to now? Well, see your gem recovery for Anchors. No buyback on Lina. This is not going to be an easy hold for them, especially once her boss rocks up to the fight again. Yeah, this is going to be a double chrono fight. They still have Chi getting the Void and getting the Zeus. Um, Just a Zeus Aegis, though. The Tumba Man, there's your E-Blade. Trixie's maybe saved from the Tumba Man with that one. Second chrono comes in. Can they bring down the Antimage? They still can. Antimage, dead. Has a buyback. We'll probably have to use it here. They're going to lose the Batrider as well. But now Antimage holding on to this one. He can't really fight without the Lena, I guess. Also, no Witch Doctor Ag Scepter still. This is... Looking like the end of the middle lane of Rax and possibly even bottom as well. They're gonna blink in, go in on Boogie. Boogie. Go Scepter will keep him alive a bit longer. Antimage will buy back. Has a mana void available. Blinks in. Can he get anyone with this? Nice mana void! Double kill onto Dendi and Bounty. And a boss is hit by the Maledict. He's gonna die as well. Is there gonna be a backtrack? He gets the backtrack! Oh! He was dead! If not for that backtrack. He might still die. I think he's still dead here. And with one more blink and then Manta. Oh, oh nice. he jukes it. He needs, he's got the mana for a time walk. Can Matumba Man chase him down? Gets the slow on that as well. He's chasing and ch he wants a boss. Eight seconds left. In comes your Zeus. Matumba Man doesn't have a mana void. He's not going to get the kill on, at least not until a boss. He goes on DK Phobos instead. Can he bring him down? Needs another bash perhaps. He's, well, he's going to get the kill. Okay, that's almost, well, probably about just as, Havos had no buyback. So actually killing a boss would have been huge. That mana void was sick. And, like you said, Voss gets a lucky backtrack on the four, four anchors. They're gonna have to execute this really well. But once again, with no Aegis on Void, they might be able to find the opening. Don't use a Zeus ulti, get the Swap Vision, Matumba Man hexed up! This is gonna force out his buyback, Chrono number one, the E-Blade's there, Matumba Man's still alive, he'll die to the second Zeus salty. Havos refreshes the Chrono, catches up Violet as well as Boogie. Here comes your Antimage buyback soon, but not soon enough, they've already lost both their supports. Trixie in the fountain, gonna go down to a Queen of Pain, right click, and Matumba Man buys back, gets Dendi. Dendi gonna buy back, Navi wanna end this game now, they haven't got any Chronospheres available off of this, Havos will die, yes he will. Down goes Havos, has a buyback available, but four anchors are defending. Dendi bought back, possibly unnecessarily. No yeah, no TP and no mana. This seems like a decent hold for four anchors. They're taking a bit of damage in the mid lane, but... Second kill on your Zeus and... Well... Navi need to get something done while these buybacks plays. With the send back as Antimage blinks in, and that's where the Diffusal Blade you mentioned... is going to become more and more likely. So Havos has double Chronosphere, they're going to swap in Matumba Man, he's got no buyback, the E-Blade is there, can they keep him alive, they need the send back, is it available, Matumba Man is brought down, two minutes without your Antimate, second Chronosphere, you're going to catch out your Lena, who does have a buyback, will do it immediately, but Na'Vi have broken four anchors here with this Antimage kill, that Thunder God's Wrath into level three swap play is just punishing four anchors time and time again. It's very hard to deal with, they're currently five on three, Currently getting low here, they've got nothing 
to fight into Na'Vi. No lasso even. They're going to lose the Chen as well. Nemphi doesn't have a Laguna Blade for some time. He'll get Hex up in his own base, but hold on to his life for now. Na'Vi can't go for that third lane of Rax with the T2 tower up, but they may just go for the tier 4s here. Wow, they're really low, those tier 4s. These creep, the creep waves just keep on coming in the mid lane throughout this game, and now the throne exposed. Na'Vi looking like they may be able to get that 2-0 win here. Four Anchor's not going to tap out just yet. The E-Blade comes out on a boss. Nenfi annihilates him. Insta buyback from Havos. May pick up some boots of travel. Does do so. He's keeping right back in. Nenfi, it's going to be a dieback from Yelena and possibly GG. As Havos goes in. Chronosphere on two. This is the end for your Finnish squad. They're going to get knocked out of the Summit 3. Yeah, that... Oh, uh, this game got a lot closer than I thought it would. I mean... A lot of credit to Na'Vi for their early game, especially Sonico, I feel like, played an exceptional game. Uh, in the series as a whole, in the first game, I think they gave a couple of... They showed some weakness in the early game against 4C, but then their mid-game was just really good. Like, their, the draft, I feel, was a, a big issue in that game. In this game, I think Na'Vi just... They outplayed them in the...